Shocking violence, 54 dead and 25 churches burned in India. In a chilling wave of violence that has swept through Manipur in northeastern India, where bloodthirsty mobs have mercilessly taken the lives of 54 innocent people and set ablaze 25 churches, displacing over 23,000 people. This volatile situation marks a drastic escalation in the long-standing conflict between the dominant Hindu Maiti community and Christian tribal communities. The tensions, rooted in land ownership disputes, have worsened by the influence of Hindu nationalist organizations like the RSS and BJP. The Manipur High Court's order to review the Meite community's request for scheduled tribe status has also intensified tensions, a move which has stoked fear among tribal groups of losing their own protections and political representation. In light of the escalating violence, authorities have issued orders for military reinforcement, including a shoot on site directive in an attempt to suppress the conflict. This unrest has unveiled a new zone of tension in the state, which has already a complex history of ethnic violence. After the outbreak of violence in early May, internet services were suspended and a curfew was enforced in over half the state's districts. So, this was a huge story that happened. This is some of the worst ethnic-based violence that we've seen in India for a long time. So let me give you some more background. In the state of Manipur, there is a community called the Meite, and they are predominantly Hindu. And they make up they, um, one of the largest percentages of ethnicities in that area. And there are also tribal groups in this area. And the tribal groups are mostly Christian. The Mete are mostly Hindu. And the tribal groups, one of them is called the Kuku, um, they receive basically affirmative action from the government. And uh, which means they get reservations and jobs and quotas. And it's like a form of positive discrimination. And the Mete group were arguing in court that they should also receive scheduled tribe status. And this meant that the smaller groups are basically like, how can you say that you need affirmative action, essentially, when you're already proportionally much larger than us? Proportionally, you already have much more political power than us. What, how, how, what do you mean that you need affirmative action when you're already like in a dominant group? Right. And that kicked things off to a whole nother level. And so some people say that this is more ethnically based. However, I there were 25, at least 25 churches that were burned in this huge outbreak of ethnic violence. And according to one report that I read, they were saying that it seemed like the Hindu Mete community were preparing for this because they came armed like they had been waiting. And based on a, a, a Christian site that I was reading who reported on this, they were saying that they think that this is religiously influenced because there were churches that were burned that are belong to the Mete community. They belong to the dominant community, the dominant ethnic group, but those churches were still burned. And the people who were being interviewed on the ground about this said that it's... Um, the they blamed explicitly the rise of Hindu nationalism on how bad this got in the targeting of Christians specifically. They called it a pogrom um, from their perspective. So Armin, what with that background, what do you think about this? So a lot of people in the live chat are saying this is not a religious issue. This is, they're saying this is a tribal and the, like look how look how fast you are to judge it like the uh how disappointing one-sided coverage guys we're not finished with the coverage if we were one side where i'm highlighting how one-sided oh yeah how one-sided we are i'm highlighting your disagreements like i like while susanna was speaking there were multiple people who were saying that this is not religious and this is more ethnic related. And I was highlighting them. What a one-sided coverage. Oh no, how disappointing. We're highlighting the disagreements with the coverage on Atheist Republic. So, so quick to judge. 
Like this is why we're doing this live. With this is why we're proud of having a global community to highlight the disagreements that we have here. Yeah, very one sided. I even explicitly unbelievable. Said, this is an ethnic thing, but there are people from their perspective reporting how they see a religious influence on it. That's actually what I wanted to discuss. <laughs> is that contention right there? Yeah, we're saying. Look at this idiot. You know what? I'm gonna fucking block you because you're not a you're not a genuine um, person that is trying to make us better, right? I am. It says even Al Jazeera has covered it better than you guys. First of all, this is an uh, we we are here to have conversations about the, uh, opinions. Okay, was, we're not just a news channel. We are discussing things, right? And the good thing about this show is that we are doing this live with you guys and we're covering different angles and we're highlighting the disagreements and we're discussing this. And Susanna didn't say anything wrong. Susanna highlighted some people's opinion about this being a religious thing, which is which is true. Some people have pointed out that this is a religious thing. Even if their opinion is wrong, the fact that that opinion exists is true. And that's exactly how responsible she was about, uh, about the way that she covered it. She was being very responsible. She said, this is, some people have pointed this out. The fact that that opinion might be wrong doesn't mean that that's untrue. And while I'm telling you that we are going to highlight your, uh, your disagreements, you're still saying like, oh, the other people covered this better than you. Well, I'm, uh, excuse me. Sorry with the amount of support that we're getting from you guys and the level of the budget that we have that we don't meet uh, Al Jazeera. And again, this is about a community of people that share different perspectives. And if you don't like that here, you know what? I will. If you think that that's how disappointing we are, then you get you get lost. We don't need that this kind of attitude here. Block user. There you go. Susanna is you ungrateful piece of crap. Susanna is like getting no nothing from you guys. She's getting paid zero. And people D and other people are going out and making all this effort to have to create a community here for us to have these discussions here. And you ungrateful piece of crap come out and like, oh, so disappointing. You're not even f waiting to see whether our coverage of this is finished. Like instead of thanking Susanna for putting this time for free, for not, not getting anything, she's sitting here going out all week finding news for you and coming here and bringing it here for you to discuss it with the rest of the community. And this is how you treat her instead of thanking her. You don't deserve to be here. You don't deserve her work. You don't deserve her effort. You get lost. Oh, my God. <laughs> It's okay. Yeah, D is saying D is our lovely editor. Everyone say thank you, D, for the work and volunteerism that she does for us. Um, she was saying this was a bit confusing. It looked as if everyone is being violent. There were videos of both. I mean, the footage that was coming out of Manipur was absolutely crazy. Yeah, just so much property damage. Everything looked like it was on fire. It looked really bad. Yeah, oh, thank saying, you, Thanks, Mohammed. Susanna, for your yeah much appreciated yeah thank you mama but yeah guys so there's you this is why we have this we i be, before that guy went off and saying it's so disappointing i was while susanna was saying the perspective of this being religious i was in real time highlighting the um alternative viewpoint that this is not about religion right so now you have all of the perspectives right and we were we now we brought it up as well right and here so Oxymoron was also saying, here's the perspective of it not being religious. Is that what you say? Hindu tribes were yeah. also regarded as tribals by British until India got independence. This is a genuinely complicated issue to me. I don't see really any, any real solution. I mean, I don't... I'm, uh, the whole scheduled caste, scheduled tribe system, OBCs, everything in India is a giant bowl of knotted up spaghetti it is it's it is extremely complicated right. <laughs> people are being so nice to me <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah parsa is saying yeah. susanna and d are getting our love and appreciation thank you oh, thank you guys. i'm fine right, so i'm fine i want more people to give appreciation to d 
Although yeah. I do love when Armin gets so defensive of me because I also <laughs> lose my when people come for Armin, I lose there was an incident that happened this past week on the Persian side of things where someone came for Armin and I lost my mind. So <laughs> it is kind of nice to see the same thing in reverse. Mm -hmm. Like you okay. don't come for him. I will yeah. cut you. So <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't cut anyone. I be kidding. careful. You where are you? To, where are you? To? No, but here, here's the thing, guys. It's when it comes to whether something is a bad religion or not. The answer is like yes, but usually, usually, right? So, um, it's never like when 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 you're talking. It's very rarely when we have religious elements involved. Not a bad religion at all, right? So the question is how much religion we're talking here is it mostly religion is it somewhat religion is it like close to zero religion right um and it's always a lot more complicated is we have very uh, it's very rare that religion plays the entirety of the role right um but and different people try to uh, focus on different aspects of it and highlight that more, right? And we being an atheist channel might sometimes see things from a religion perspective too much. And that's why it's good that we have you guys here and we have such a global community to point out, no, this even if it's a bad religion, other elements within this um, event might be a, a little bit more pronounced. But again, I don't, it doesn't seem to me yet that it's not religion at all. Like what you're saying, I think the religion still has a little bit of a element to the story. Susanna, what do you think? But if anything, well, D, I think D is saying this religion got dragged in where churches were targeted. Like I, mm -hmm. or any, there were other places of worship as well. So I think it, there was this situation that was at a boiling point and it popped off for a couple of different reasons. There's also like a refugee thing going on with Myanmar. Like it's very complicated with these ethnic tensions, right? Um, right. It's not just one thing. There are many things. And then if anything, people took advantage of that situation to go reap this, this, this destruction as which often happens in riots, right? We saw that in the U S like when there was a lot of chaos and people out in the street, people took advantage of that and just started looting everything that they could. They saw an opening they 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 took advantage of it so i i if anything i think it's that kind of situation but i wanted to cover this because this is partially the way that like websites that track christian persecution this is how they talk about it and that's mm. why i wanted to cover it you can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free too sexy to show most of it here on youtube we draw muhammad hindu goddesses sexy hijabi art jesus mother mary Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.